Welcome back, folks. We're playing some more Battle Brothers in the Blazing Sands, Blazing Deserts, Blazing Deserts uh, DLC. And, well, we're going to continue. Let's take a look at our roster. The 13th Warriors here. Uh, we've got a good mix. Our dudes are doing okay. I do need to get uh, Eric Walsh here, the cripple. We'll get him... Uh, some better armor. What do we got here? I did make a deal with uh, Mr. Wheelsy. <laughs> Mr. Wheelie. Uh, that the next cripple I come across can be him. And I will do so. I will honor that commitment. So I've been playing this uh, on a different playthrough. And man, it is tough. It's still hard. I'm convinced most of it is RNG that just Fs you hard, but you know, hey, that's any good game, right? We had just made it down here to the deserts. So we've got three here. We could always just pop back up here to Rottenmark or Wilkenstein. I do know some German, so that helps. No contracts here. Their warehouse burned down. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's come back up here to Rotenmark. I don't know that I can actually get a contract there, but we're going to try. We're still in the deserts. We're still down here. In uh, one of my, in my other playthrough, I was doing a lot of contracts down here, and it turns out that like most of the, well not most, some of the contracts that have you go clear out, quote unquote, nomad camps, are actually necromancers. Which sucks, because that's really early. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, you're an archer. That's interesting. But you are wheelie. Oh, I gotta get you a bow. So apparently, you're an archer. Uh, let's see. Do we have one? Yeah, there's a nice cheap one. There you go. Welcome to the bow squad. I'm gonna put you in the a little bit into the center here because I don't want you to get smoked right out the gate. Where are your traits anyways? Uh, clumsy. Okay. A clumsy cripple. Alright. I don't know that I want to try it too. Let's see what it is. Uh, let's see. Deliver some cargo. How much? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. Where are we going? How far up north are we going? Whoa, way up to Zoofest? <laughs> Zoogfest, not Zoo. Well, we'll see how this goes. we got a lot of archers, so I'm pretty confident we can handle most things. I hope. <laughs> oh, passing Volkenstein. The militia's activated. Oh, that's right. Some of these guys might not like us. We're going to put be put way up here. We may not. We may have some mercenary companies that want to hunt hunt us down because we're dirty barbarians. Interesting playthrough. I've never really made it very far with the uh, warriors of the north. Oh, this is not good. While in the march, you find a drunken nobleman tottering side by side along the path. Mussy is the name of his hair. <laughs> Leaves and grass and what looks like bird shit swept up in it. Someone stirred the ingredients into a prank. <clears throat> but his clothes sweep about with the finest of silks and his fingers glisten with jewelry. He has a bottle in each hand and he swings them around as he sings gibberish pub songs. He's in re all regards the greatest magnet for mugging you've ever seen. Vincent Meyer, the tepid, purses his lips, and he looks like a wolf staring at a fat sheep. I'm not saying nothing, sir. I'm just, I'm just seeing it. That's a lot of juice. A lot of juice limping down the road. But again, I ain't saying nothing. You know what he's talking about. I'm gonna leave him be. Although maybe as barbarians I should have. Oh, there's a caravan I could have raided.
I have some brigands. Alright, well, we're almost there. Just gonna have to deal with some stuff on the way back down, I think. Didn't have to fight nothing. It's well supplied. Well, you know what that means. Drink up, men. Uh, we're gonna wait. Nah, we're gonna go down. Because there's no contracts here that I can do. Because I'm a dirty barbarian. Head on down. Oh, thank you, Rotten Mock. May have just saved my hide. Well, there's a garrison up there that's probably brigands of some sort. Let's go down to Tannerheim. They're on fire. That's not good. It means there's some bad things afoot. Oh my god. There's a lot of stuff going on. Ooh, two brigands. I'll take them. They might have some good loot for me to take. Take the shot. Vincent made made contact with the shield. That's good. Uh, I want you to hold. Take the shot, Mufan. Nice. Michael, take the shot. And he missed. Okay. We're going to step up a little bit. <clears throat> I'll let them come to me. Right, we're going to start encircling them. Engage. Yeah. Nice hit. Good stab. All right, Wheelie. Your opening shot. And you missed. That's to be expected. All right, we're going to encircle these guys the best we can. Get them, doggy. What's your name, Fenrir? Yeah, we'll take sh what shots we can. Try to envelop them as best we can, too. Nice, right in the hand. Good dodge there, Eric. One down. This is a prime target. Take the shot, Wheelie. Hey, hit the shield. Means you didn't miss the target. You'll get better. You'll get better later. Yeah, Doggo got him. Hammer time. All right, Tim. Tim the Enchanter, he did. Hey, we got a helmet. Nice. That's why I went for him. Might get some good loot out of him. Let's ding Tim here. Better at, uh, well, better at health. Let's see, what do we want to give him? Uh, he's more of a defender. Let's make him a shield expert. And let's give him a better shield. What are we doing? Uh, what do we want to... Who do we want to give what? There you go, Tim. Enjoy that. You're the defender guy. Go down to Tannerheim. Another two for contract. Ugh. Let's see, is there crap I can sell? Yeah, let's get rid of these small shields. Save all the rest of that. Oh, cheap arrows. I'll definitely take those. You really got to look for those opportunities whenever they come up. Take what you can. I have one of these means uh, it's good. It's good to go. Uh, what do we got? Uh, is this another caravan? Two days to the west. I'll do that. These are always good relatively easy ones. Oh, they want to take me to a hostile place? Well, I'm going to save for now just in case it takes me into hostile territory and we end up having to fight for no good reason. A wagon tipped over. Dead horses by its side. One dead donkey with evidence of having put up a fight. Women, children, a couple of older men, most mutilated in a fashion unsuitable for being found by anyone, but you figure your company was probably the best fit to come across such ruin. You've got the stomach for it, for you have created worse. 
It is the innocence of the dead that turns the gut, though. And in a feeble effort to rectify the moral illness, you go ahead and bury the dead. Sadly, nothing of value is found in their remains. Rest in peace. Ugh, Goblin Raiders. Well, that took down the brigands a little bit, so maybe that keeps them from fighting us. It's be interesting going to Dorenthal. Maybe that'll actually make them not hate us? Not be openly hostile? These goblins are rough. Well, they don't want to jump me, so that's good. Yeah, don't mind me, Mr. Trading Caravan. The peasants are running from me for no reason whatsoever. Totally not a problem. Alright, now let's get out of here before we get assaulted by Dorenthal. Hey! Deciding that Tanheim is a good place to invest your efforts, you decide to offer the protection of the company and take up any work suitable to your talents. You act like a gentleman in your dealings with the locals and encourage the men to mind their manners while in the settlement. There was, of course, some griping at first. Dormat Jones was sorely disappointed to give up the brawling with farmers, especially with the 13th warrior spending so much time in Tanheim. But you convince the men that having a friendly base of operations is important in your line of work, as it meant getting better prices at the market and more people willing to join your motley band. It's also much less tiring not having to dodge the militia all the time. You even enlisted the men to do some small tasks in exchange for nothing but goodwill. I found that little brat who wandered off and dragged him right home. Wheelie brags, quickly outvied by Mufan. I went to the market for the old spinster. Split her firewood for the winter and even put her put out her washing. But I draw the line at rescuing treed cats. Well done. Well done. Got some around. And we have no food. Uh, well, that's not good. Let's go to Eisenberg real quick. I guess our food went bad while we were uh, traveling. Because the nice thing about the... Caravans is they provision you while you go about. We should be fine as long as the day doesn't end. Really, that's about it. Let's get to Eisenberg. Let's go buy things. There's some pigs. That's fun. Uh, we're going to take some of this and some of this. That should... That should tie us over for a little bit. We'll get this because it's relatively cheap. Great. Enjoy some booze. Booze bros. Oh, we don't really need anybody right now. Let's see. Deliver a package. I like these ones. These are usually pretty good as well. Ah, oh, Katakin. Where do they want me to go? Way over there. Ugh. I will go... Well, let's just let it pick. What's the fastest way there? Apparently along the road. I'll travel there, and uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll pick you guys back up. <laughs> Alright, we're finally almost there. I did have to stop at uh, Wolkenstein to pick up some food. Hey, you enter. New Alfaradi, the Vizier's... Vizier of Trades home where the package is finally dropped off and whisked away by servants staring at you from a comfortable looking chair he asks if your journey went well you state that idle talk does not fill your pockets and then inquire about your pay the man raises an eyebrow ah have i offended the crownling with my kind civilized sensibilities how dare i well then your pay is in the corner and it is in full as agreed upon damn straight give me that money I don't work for free. There are no horns, no confetti, no cheers, but there's still yet a certain level of pomp when you enter the Musa Ibn Hamdin, the high priest's room. It is so decorated with golds and silvers, intricate jewelries made by genuine craftsmen, and a harem of nothing but the most attractive women, that one can't help but be spurred to do whatever is asked, if only to have a chance to partake in the seemingly day-to-day -day festivities. Musa sits upon a pile of cushions. Ah, oh, Crownling, I've been expecting you. Please, come no closer. You will scare my attractions. I have a simple task for you. Nomads have been plundering my caravans. Hereat, I am with fewer coins in my coffers. 
I'm sure you understand what it is like to be deprived of it in any manner, yes? Ah, you seem so dumb, so blank, so well involved with what you do. I need those nomads killed, and I'm willing to pay 750 crowns to have it done. I can make this problem disappear. Uh, give me more. Damn. Fine. Let's rest up here for a little bit. Oh, we need another thing. Another deal. Ah, uh, what will we do? Do you want to get to 12 men? That's pretty quick. Yeah, let's do it. Now we'll increase, um, hmm. Eight contracts. A unique item, which is the standard, which is quite a, good to have. Uh, we'll get the company bigger. Mole bigger. Because then I think we can do... We'll have the money. We can just do that one next. It should be easy to get to 12. As long as we don't lose, like, most of our men here. Sounds like a snake. No step on snake. Alright, let's go do some combat. Now, okay, good. No friggin' necromancers. My other playthrough was always necromancers. Which probably doesn't bode well for my campaign. Swing and a miss. So all this clutter is pretty cool in the map. Now you have some objects that kind of tunnel things, or funnel things, rather. 31, 31. Take him. Nice. All right, Michael, take that shot. 33. Swing and a miss. Let's get you up here, Matthew. There is new music, as you can hear. All right, let's step up and get into the fray. Step down one, spear wall up. Nice. Nicely done, Tim the Enchanter. Go for the shot, Wheelie. Oh, you missed. Eric, I want you to pull security on the side there. We're going to deal with this up here. A little hammer time. Take that shot, Vincent. And you missed. Now right, we're going to step into the fray. Nice. Cut some uh, sinew. Who wants to take a shot? Uh, we'll step up here and take a shot here. Nice. Nice, old Mufan, getting things done. Ow. Oh, the armor's helping. Take that shot, Michael. Protect your bunnies, got them right in the side. Sorib. Couple of stabs. Oh, he's stunned, that's not good. Oh, good shield work. Alright, Wheelie. Yeah, first kill. Let's get you up here, envelop this guy, get some pokes in. Step up a little bit, get some shots on target. Drop the dog, smash him. Get him, doggo. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, that's got some range. What is that? Three tiles? Huh. Long shot. Oh, you got the shield. Step up, take a shot. Nope, nothing. Another one down. We're doing pretty good. Alright, Willie, take that shot. I hit the shield. Getting some pokes in. I can't complain there. Oh, uh, let's try to get around this guy. At least break his spirit. Whoa! Wheelie almost got whipped. Nothing. Uh, let's get up here. Off of this helmet. 
Good shield work on his part. Well, he's broken at least. Willie, take the shot. Oh, it's hoping you get a second kill. Well, that guy's gonna die. Good job, dog. Derg. Vincent with the kill. Hammer time. All right, Dormat Jones. Ding, so did Matthew White. Good. Wheelie, you got a kill. It's great. Got a bunch of loot. You can upgrade some people's uh, armor a little. Let's check that right fast. Who needs it? Eric needs it. Big time. Who wants this? You can take that. It's Ding Dormat Jones here. One of my OG barbarians who apparently just refuses to die. Uh, what do we want to give him? I can make him my rallying man. My sergeant at arms. Let's go for... Brawny. I feel like that works for him. And old Matthew White. Let's give you... You're more of an offensive guy, so I guess I can give you... Redlentless. You can just be in the fray at all times. Okay, cool. Oh, that's actually a metal shield. Who do I want to give that to? That is a 60 strength shield. Quite good. 18, 18, minus 18. 15, 15. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty strong, so... There you go, Tim the Enchanter. Enjoy. Let's head back to town. It was quite successful. We didn't take any casualties. A few, uh... Little bruises here and there, and that's about it. Not bad. They have a lot of regiments here. Considering these are city-states, and they're not spread out into smaller towns. You try to enter Musa's room, but a large, scare, scared, scarred guard lowers, and lowers the business end of the portal arm across the door. No visitors. You state that you have business with the Vizier. Guard shakes his head. A servant comes up behind you and puts a satchel in your arms and then departs just as fast. The guard returns a pull arm to his side. Your trivialities with Vizier concluded when you first departed his presence. You are not poison. <laughs> you are not to poison his mood any further. Leave now before your poison mine. Well, we got paid. Any more cheap dudes? Another cripple. Jackpot. Love me some cripples. Uh, these guys are pretty good because you don't have to pay them. <laughs> you just pay them up front, man. It's great. Who do we want? Let's take Wasi here. Wasi. Mr. Hanky? Oh, I'm taking him. Welcome aboard, Mr. Hanky. There's my 12th man. Uh, so you're melee. You're melee. Congrats. Uh, yeah, we'll give you a spear and shield. And you can have... Uh, so I have a bunch of hackers and slashers, so I will give you this. Enjoy a helmet. Do you enjoy a helmet? Actually, 40, 50, so that's actually better. Okay. You take that. Just slowly upgrading people's stuff. This is great. Here you go, Wheelie. Have a little hood. You're in the hood now. Uh, let's see. How could I reorganize my line? Let's do this. We can get you there. You can cover that flank. Spread the archers out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. It's always about reordering your line. What kind of contract is this? You watch as slaves bundle goods and load them into a series of wagons. Okay, so it's a caravan. Give me more. No? Done. Uh, let's go to the temple. Nobody has wounds. That's great. 
Let's head on out. Having finally gathered the coin and equipment, you managed to assemble a full complement of 12 able fighters. Not quite 13. <laughs> when next you walk down Karakin's main street, was it Karakin? The men break into a full-throated marching song. A few of the townsfolk mutter under their breath about dirty mercenaries taking over their town. But others walk alongside and shout the words with you. Stand tall, brothers. People can see this is a real mercenary company now, and not a handful of wandering vagabonds, Doormat Jones declares. We trade in strength, and now that our numbers have gone up, so will our price. It appears he has the right of it. You notice one particularly fat nobleman sizing up the company as if he already has a task in mind. The 13th warriors are now forced to be reckoned with. Once the men have settled in for a celebratory drink, perhaps you should take another stroll through the town to see if any more lucrative contracts may be available. Well, look at that. Let's keep moving. So one thing I did notice is in towns, there are no, well, in these southern towns, there's no taverns, so you cannot drink up. Anyways. While on the path, you come across a man sitting besides the path. He's clad in some beaten armor, and there's an even more beaten weapon in his lap. He regards you with the limpest of waves. Evening. If you ain't sell swords, then I never set my paws pants afire. That seems to be an interesting tale in and of itself, but you instead ask the man what he's doing in the middle of the road. More important, you ask this rather able-bodied fella if he's looking for work. A job? No, I don't need one. I already done that cell sorting bit, and I'm done with it. You know, you know what, here. He starts undoing his armor and throws it on the ground before you. Take it, I have no need for that life anymore. Take the weapon too, I'm leaving all this shite behind. You should too, but I know you won't. Not before it's too late anyway. I'm walking the earth until my feet are ground to nubs. As for yourself, Godspeed. Just like that, Stranger Goes. An arming sword and basic male shirt. Okay. Alright, so that's a good little piece of kit. So, who wants it? Is this better than that? 40 to 45, 20, 80, 6. Okay, more damage. So, less armor ignoring. Plus fatigue. Guess what, Matthew? <laughs> enjoy. And also, enjoy the upgrade in armor. Make him a twofer. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, who wants some uh, better armor? 75. 75 versus 50. There you go, Beansy. Enjoy. Uh, let's upgrade you from 50. Boom, done. Let's give old Mr. Hanky the uh, nomad robe. There you go, enjoy. Because he was naked. Let's keep moving. Just gonna slowly truck along here. A very slow caravan. Well, we gotta pick a new thing, and I guess I might as well get the banner. My standard, because I'm gonna have more money than I need. Well, I can always use more money, but we're already done. No one likes a skin flint, least of all a group of wandering, bloodthirsty rabble motivated primarily by the love of coin. Not everyone, or more precisely, no one was thrilled when you suggested cutting back on spending to save up for a company standard. Once the 13th warrior standard is finally paid for and hoisted for the first time to proudly snap into a fresh drawn dawn breeze, however, no one seems, no one claims it wasn't worth it. Their men are proud of their new standard, even tossing around names for it around the campfire, though none of them really stick. It's clear for everyone to see now that this is not some band of hired thugs. This is becoming a true mercenary company. Who should have the honor of carrying the standard? There we go, we got the battle standard. Let's see, who should carry this? Who deserves to carry this? Gonna be somebody who likes melee. Who's good at defense too. Who is not one of my OGs. Hmm. 
Sora was like one of the OGs. He's a little bit of everything. He's got really good resolve. So you know what? There you go, Sora. We'll place him right in the middle. I kind of want to give you a spear. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. That's a good battle line. That's a damn fine battle line. I cut our money down quite a bit, but uh, one of the things I'm going to build up is this. You have to unlock these and pay a lot of money, but they're worth it. Like the the scout is really good. No, the lookout. So the lookout actually increases your sight radius and it gives you more info. The drill sergeant is pretty good. Like, there's a lot of good ones. The surgeon is really good. But we'll look at that later. That's one of the new features. The retinue. Oh, we got brigands. So citizens are the dirty peasants of the south. <laughs> We're almost there. Hey, what do we want to do now? I want to, I want to name a sergeant. We'll eventually do that. Gotta take somebody dinging a few times. And we have arrived at Volkenstein. You made it, having delivered the caravan. Yeah, this is boring. Uh, made a bunch of money. Good. Is there anything good here? Uh, drink. Drink up, man. Let's look at stuff to sell. Junk. Let's get rid of it. That's fine. What do we need? These are relatively cheap, so we'll buy one set of those. Where do we get spices? Well, let's sell those. <laughs> Apparently I got them from one of the, uh, probably the nomads. We're gonna buy a little food. They will get grumpy if you don't have a variety of food, by the way, so... Let's get them some beer for the road. I like buying those. Yeah, I think we're good there. I'm gonna sell off that cheap one because I just don't want to carry it. Ah, uh, that's good. Let's look at the twofer. What does he want? Uh, do, do, do. I will escort that caravan right back down there. By all means. Let's do this. Off we go. Well, if anything happens, I'll catch you guys, but I'm just going to let this run. And uh, we'll be right back. Well, we just got waylaid by some nomads. Although it's only six, so I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Vincent, get up on the high ground. Just gonna hold the line here. Take some pot shots where we can with Mufan. Good shot. Michael, take a shot on another guy. Another good hit. Pierce his side. Alright, alright. Covering both flanks here. I think who's coming up? We're gonna spear a wall up. Practice that. Got our new standard there. Handled by Sora with his fancy bear hat. All right, so they're biasing towards the south there. Take the shot there, wheelie. Oh, swing and a miss. We're gonna jump into the fray. Get to work. Put in some wet work here. Nice. What did he do, cut his Achilles tendon? Ouch. Not quite a kill. Step up and start enveloping these guys. Alright, take the shot, Vincent. Go for this guy in the back. And you missed. Get out there, doggo. Nice. <laughs> nice. Alright, go and flank this guy. Can't quite get to him, but... Can reinforce from the rear. That male shirt's coming in handy. Yeah, good dodge, dog. Dog dodge. <laughs> Take the shot, no fan. And you missed. Good dodge. Ah, it kicks sand in your face. It's super annoying. Oh. Sabti, we don't want to lose you. I gotta rename those guys. Again, I didn't did it quite frequently I do this. Yeah, swing and a miss. Let's 
some pokes in here. Do the same up here. Hopefully we can keep a uh, new guy from dying. Shield up. Another one about to break. Help the dog out a little bit. Step up, take a shot. Dog's getting it in. There goes his head. Nice. I right, broke that guy. Save the arrows. Oh, we lost new guy. Hopefully he's not dead. Take the shot, please. Don't let that guy escape. Keep that contact. Swing and a miss. Run him down. No mercy, no quarter. Let's get you guys up here. Uh, so if we step up two, we should be able to poke him later. Oh, I kicked sand in my dog's face. What an asshole. It's all right. We'll take him down. Good hit. There goes his head. Oh, this guy's dead. Well, we got some decent stuff. At least some stuff we can outfit our archers with. So they're not just wearing tattered rags. Uh, before I forget, let's go ahead and rename new guy. Who didn't die after we level up. Old Vincent Meyer here. Oh, I hit cancel. Uh, let's see what perk do we want to give him. I want to give him quick hand so he can swap to his weapon because he's actually pretty good at melee as well. Michael Wright, who is the son of Undi, or he's of the Undi tribe, whatever. Uh, you are good at, let's give you, let's make you good at fast adaptation so you can get better shots on target. Let's go down the line for old Eric Walsh. We'll make him a tough son bitch. And... What do we have to rename? Mr. Hanky, as much as I like the name Mr. Hanky, you are Chuck Norris Derp. Okay, cool. You're renamed. Um, is there anybody else? No, I think that was it. I think. Yeah, that was it. That is it. Uh, all right, let's see. 20... 50. There you go. Enjoy the thick nomad robe. It's a little better than nothing. Swap this out. He's got the fancy headband. I want to keep his fatigue nice and high, which is a weird way to say it. Oh, Tim Yuli the Enchanter sags into the sands, one knee buckling, and as soon as it straightens back up, the other buckles in turn. You look back just in time to watch as his eyes roll back in his head and he crumples. The company rushes to his help, getting in water and shade. He hacks and threshes back to life, but the withering heat has already done its damage. Tim is exhausted. Stay hydrated, beat the heat. It's rough. Let's uh, put him in reserve for now. Go rest up there, Brosif. I have to get another guy to hold a spear in the line. Struggling there. Alright, we're about to arrive at Kirikin. Made 550 crowns. Nice. Town is well supplied with the city state rather. Who can we who can we buy? 
Uh, we'll get Wasi. We didn't get him last time. We're going to get him this time. Boom. Don't have to pay any upkeep on this guy. He's a defender. Good. Here's a spear. Here's some clothes. Here's a shield. Here's a hat. Ein Hut. Alright, cool. We'll bring him back into line here shortly. Uh, anybody have any wounds? No? Okay. What can we sell? Let's get rid of that crap. Uh, I'll hang on to everything else for now. I think my food is getting ready to go bad. Yeah, I think it spoils quicker down here in the desert. That might be interesting if it does. Huh. I have some money. Is there any armor I want to buy for cheap if it's uh, damaged? I get this fancy gold armor, Lamellar. Ah, it could be good. For a thousand bucks, though, that's a lot of money. I don't think I want to buy That's a fancy helmet. Huh. Interesting. Could use some better shields. But for now, I think we'll check another contract out, another delivery. Nah, I don't want to do it. Seven boy carries a leash of slaves in one hand and a note in the other. Uh, four days north to. No, it's not. No, sorry. All right, well, I think that's a good stopping point. I'm going to save it. All right, well, I was going to end this episode, but I got a little extra time to record, so I'm recording more people. Good times, good times. The 13th Warriors, continuing with this. Nobody's got wounds. We have no contracts here, so we're going to beat feet and go to Rasanan. Is that like the Rasanante? <laughs> That show should be coming back later this year. Why are these guys out here just patrolling, maybe? Usually that means they're chasing someone. Yeah, we'll try to get a little more. I'm going to do at least like one or two more contracts. Can you make this a longer video? Because I'm going to chop out some of the dead space. So nobody wants to watch my guys just trucking along. You can play the game and see that yourself. Hey, look, we got some contracts. I do want to try the arena, but uh, I don't know about it. Not just yet. Okay, I've already done this. Uh, well, you must pay me quite a bit. Why, yes, I'll drive off the nomads. If they are, in fact, nomads. Or they're nomads. Just happies. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Last, like I said, in another playthrough, I've been getting necromancers at these. Whew. That's rough. Especially early game, man. I have, like, no food. I think all your food, like, deteriorates here quicker. It sucks. You need, like, dried fruit, fruits and stuff. Alright, take out that whipper, because, uh, that old whipper snapper is long range. Eh, 29. Let's go for the 29. Ah. Oh, Pierce side right out the gate. Let's step up. Get into the fray. Take a shot on him. Try to bring him down. Okay. Hitting him is fine. Alright, Michael. Take that shot. Oh. I'll step up one. Alright, step up here and do a little spear wall. Step over here. Spear wall up. Force him out. Get that banner up front and center. I do like the new music in this. Oh, you sneaky bastard. Alright, well, we're gonna get in the fray. Hmm. Alright, Wheelie. Who can you shoot? I guess him? Nice! Pierce his cheek. That's a headshot. Step up here and get a stab in. It's a little poke. Oh, oh, what is that? Disarmed. Huh. Well, that's a new state. 
Take the shot on this guy. Swing and a miss. I'll get up here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Nice! Ripped his ear. Ow. Let's take a shot on... How about you? Nice! Got him in the arm. Good dodge in there from old Matthew White. Let's try to break his face. Nice! Nice! Double hit. Let's see. Take a shot on him, please. Okay, I'm disarmed, so I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> Almost killed him. That's brutal. Let's get up on that whipper. Old whipper snapper. Oh, that's sand kick. Super annoying. Swing and a miss. Take a shot on him. Nice. Wheelie is getting it in. Take the shot, Vincent. Okay. Oh, dodge that one. Take this shot. Mufan missed. Michael, you got this. No, you don't. Well, Beansy. You got a stab in. Good. Shit, who do we lose? Oh, I never renamed Wasi. That seems to happen all the time. Let's get up on this guy. Oh, good hit there. Get the dog out. Let's take a shot on... Guess we'll jump up here. No? How about here? Wheelie, take the shot. You missed. Damn, I don't want to lose Doormat. Jump up here with Vincent. Nice. Oh, oh good dodges. One down. Two down, damn. Matthew ain't messing around. Good stab from Sorub. Step up, take the shot. Hit the shield. Take the shot there, Michael. Michael Wright and Matthew White. Interesting. <laughs> Funny how that works out. Good stab. Start coming around the other side. Yeah, good hit, at least. Get him, dog. All right, he's broken. We got this. Nice. Old Wasi died. We got a lot of dings on that. It's actually really good. Oh, it's right. I had Tim in reserves because he was exhausted. We'll get back out there, Tim. Get to work. Beansy. You dinged. Here's some stuff. Uh, let's look at your perks. What do we want to give you? You are more... He's good at experience gain, and he's determined. So, uh, let's give him... Yeah, we'll keep him from getting any head injuries. Although, brain damage can help, because it gives him more resolve. Let's give you some more initiative there, Burrosif. I'll sort of the, uh, the monk that we absconded with from the original place. Way up north somewhere. Um... Let's give him the ability to execute. Wheelie, you leveled up. Congrats. You got a lot of fatigue. Max fatigue. You got a lot of resolve. Well, you will eventually. And you got some range skill. Uh, let's go ahead and give you fast adaptation. I like that skill for my archers, personally. Go ahead and level up Mufan to whopping level three. And we're gonna give him. Hmm. We'll give him Bullseye. Cool. I need to replace that, that dude. 
whatever his name was. Wasi, I think. I think that's his name. Because he didn't get an actual name, because I forgot. Because I'm really good at doing that. We'll do one more contract, I think. And probably call it there. We'll see what happens. 700 crowns, baby. Making that money. All right, we'll rest here overnight. And uh, I gotta buy food, because my, my food all went bad. It is interesting how much they model in this game. Quite good. Hmm. So we got a leather nomad robe. I'll sell some of this crap off. Get it out of my inventory. Uh, I get incense. Hmm. Did we get anything good? We did get some incense. I'll sell those up north. Let's buy. It's a lot of dried food. Bread is expensive. Rice is the cheapest, so we'll get some of that. That'll buy us a little bit of time. That's actually time right there. Spice. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the stash. It's probably my favorite voice acting ever. No, no, that's my favorite right there. Uh... Let's see. What's well, a 50? Here, have this leather nomad robe there, uh, wheelie. And have a new cap. Enjoy. We'll give you this S word right here as your backup weapon. So you can hack and slash where needed. Uh, let's see. Let's take up this contract. Well, you find a few of the councilmen and aldermen of Hain. Hayan. Ibn Hazam, the Master Astrologer, the Resident Vizier. They approach you with a document stamped with his emblem. We shall soon be off. For to Dorthal. Dornthal? Dornthal. With a caravan of goods. Okay, so what does it pay? Whole bunch of money. Uh, yeah. And we're gonna get somebody. Now do I get another quote unquote indebted I don't know why they changed the name there kind of dumb Shepherd could be good he's worth a little bit more we'll, we'll splurge a little bit let's look at this guy good he's a melee dude I need that he's actually not naked or afraid you can wear that you can have this shield right here and you can carry that spear congrats you're in the line but you are not Fury. You are Jonathan Brinkley. The Brinkle? You mean John Brinkle. The Indebted. Welcome. Time to go out there and do things. Let's swap these two. Great. We're gonna go escort something. I'll uh, cut out most of this unless something interesting happens. Well, we've got brigands on our ass, so we're going to have to deal with that. Oh, we got the high ground. You done effed up, Barosif. Let's take out the weak ones. I want to do that so they break and run, maybe. Nice, right in the arm. Let's get you up on high ground, too. Take a shot at that guy. And you missed. All right, we're going to step up. All right, well, they stepped up too, so let's get Michael right up here. Take a shot on that guy right over his head. I want to push him back. Let's get up here and start slashing. Nice. Nice. Oh, who's that? Is that a caravan guard, I guess? Interesting. That's new. Poked him right in the hat. Ein Hut. Okay, let's um, step up. Damn, stabbed him in the throat. Crushed his windpipe. Nicely done, John Brinkley. Conscript's a little better than most of the caravan hands I've seen. Let's get the spear wall going. Uh, I'm going to hold here for a sec. 
Take a shot on him, please. You missed, Wheelie. That sucks. Vincent Meyer, can you take the shot, please? Right on the shield. Just hold, please. Don't do anything rash. Alright, they're massing up here for the most part. Off of his head. That means I get to keep that armor when he when it's over. Well, better him than me. No, I said better him than me, Chuck Norris. Come on. Keep the derp levels to the minimum. Michael Wright gets him in the side. Nice. Let's take a shot here. Okay, I'll take that, Mufane. Good stand. And we'll get down here and start breaking these guys. I'm gonna hold fast. I'm not gonna rush in with that guy. Whoa! Looks like a flamethrower. It's pretty awesome. Alright, we're gonna take a shot here, Wheelie. And you missed. That's the way she goes. Nice. Broke him. Alright, we're gonna rush in. Try to break them. Damn! Slash that head right off. Step up a little bit, take a shot. We'll get moving up there a little bit. Uh, how about you go up here? Okay, they're going for the conscripts, not me. I'll take it. Uh, take the shot, please, Michael. Nice. You hit the guy in front. Do the same thing, Mofan. Nice. Another guy down. Who's up? You already got to kill Tim the Enchanter. Oh, okay. Take the shot. Nice, wheelie, right in the side. <laughs> Another one down, he's broken a run. Doggo, get him, please. Yeah, get him. Get him. That guy's almost down. Nice. Clearing him out. Well, Chuck Norris here took a little damage. A little dinger. Alright. Yeah, let's keep working our way up. I feel like maybe I should get him like a two-hander. A Svihanda. Yeah, we'll slowly catch up. The dog's gonna keep him in place, so that's good. Oh, he ran. No. No mercy. Get him, doggo. Yeah. Get some. Well, There's one kill for Matthew White. One kill for Tim. Kill for Eric Walsh. And one for Chuck Norris. Nice. Got some armor. We'll slowly dole that out. Uh, let's look. We gotta ding somebody. Who was it? Old Chuck Norris Derp. Boom, boom, and boom. So your perks. Uh you done good there, good sir. He's craven. Hmm. Let's make him a little better at moving. Is there any real rhyme or reason to that? Not really. But I'm gonna give him that, and I'm gonna give him uh, that. And we'll play the hand me down game. I don't think anybody needs that. We do need to upgrade these. These guys are still wearing old barbarian armor. There we go. That's 50. That's also 54. So that's a little better. Okay. Well, I think we're good across the board. Yeah. Well, we're continuing. Should be fine. We do have somebody we need to patch up. Yeah, our, our target is Dorenthal, which is hostile to us. We did this route last time, too. 
the last time we came up here anyways. Come on, drop off the goods. We gotta go. All right. It's well supplied. Now I gotta leave before the militia come and get me. <laughs> it's interesting because these people don't hate me. They're just unfriendly. We'll go uh, check out Eisenberg. It's not Eisengard, that's a different thing entirely. The Rust Cave Hills. Must be iron in them, there are hills. Although there's a gem mine. Hey! Drink up, men. Enjoy. Uh, I don't need anybody right now. I do have a lot of crap to sell, though. So here's some cheapo armor. Let's get rid of that. I will sell off that stick. And these. I have incense, but they don't want to sell for crap. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> I just can't see the one. Boom, making some money. Quite good. Quite good indeed. Uh, give me some grain. Can eat their cereals. All their breakfast cereals. Let's leave that. Let's check out this two skull. While your men venture around town, you go to a pub and take a seat. As soon as you do, a strange man joins you. You with the 13th warriors? You nod. The man nods back and then reaches into his pocket. You reach for your dagger. The stranger puts his hand out. Easy there. I'm wearing a sword. If I wanted to kill you, taking a seat probably wouldn't be the best route. The man lifts and the man lifts the sheath and bumps it to the underside of the table. He cocks his head as if to say, "See." You nod, and the man continues with his move, taking out a note and passing it to you. A local councilman by the name of Edmund the Guildmaster wishes to see you. I'm all ears. Edmund the Guildmaster is looking out his window when you find him. There's a goblin in his hand, and there's nothing but silence outside. He turns to you almost sober. When you came here, did you realize how quiet it was? You remark that you did. But you're a sellsword who looks like who looks the part. That's just what you're accustomed to. Edmund the Guildmaster nods and takes a drink. Uh, of course. Unfortunately, it isn't that people are afraid of you. Not this time. We've had people being attacked in these past weeks. Beasts of some sort are on the loose. We know not what they are, but only that who oh, they take. We pleaded with our lord, of course, but he has done nothing to help us. His next drink is a long one. When he finishes, he turns to you, empty cup in hand. Would you go out and hunt these monsters down? Please, so sword, help us. Let's talk pay. 820? Give me more. 820? Okay. <laughs> Let's let's try this and hope we don't die a horrible death. All right, where are the footprints? Did I not take it? Uh, okay, the modest monk. Yep, we got some water. Where is this thing? Ah, oh, there it is. Well, let's equip that holy water. We'll give it to you, Sorib. Dire wolves. Well, we'll have the high ground, I think. Let's give her a shot. We do have the high ground-ish. All right, they're all flanking around. So we'll just wheel the formation a little bit. Except for there. Take the shot, please. Nice. See what the dog can do against some of his kind. Step up a little bit, take a shot, and miss. Uh, I'll step up here with uh, Sorib. Get the spear wall going. And push it up just a little bit. Uh, where do I want to go? I'll hold off charging in. Take the shot, wheelie. Nice. Nice. Spear wall up. Ow. Ow. 
And they're trying to get around behind. We'll just have to shift the, the formation a little bit. Nice dodging dog. The dog dodge. The dodge dog. The doge. Uh, we've got a 34 there. Take that, Vincent. And you missed. Dog missed. Not good. Step up. Get a slash in on its leg. Nice. 66. And you missed. Step back just a little bit. Take a shot. Nice. Get a hit in. And come back a little further. 54 or 34. Take that shot, please. And you missed. Alright, we broke that guy. Good. Start protecting that flank. Uh, I'm going to step up with you. Yeah, you broke that flank. Good. Should cover us. Take that shot, Wheelie. Nice. Alright, I'll drop back with you. Step up. Spear wall up. Damn it. That ain't so good. Alright, I think we can deal with this. Step up here a little bit, take a shot. Nice, got him. Another one down. Good job, doggo. Go ahead and take that shot, Michael. Nice. Putting rounds on hounds. <laughs> nice, cut the head off. Pretty good. All right, let's get over here. This is one thing this game doesn't do well are different Z levels up on this side. Good hit. Start wheeling around on him. Another little poke. Nice. Good shield work. You just hold on. Should be fine with this. Hold your fire, please. And we've broken him at least. He won't be doing anything to us. Wheelie, take a shot. Oh, you missed. And another one down. Eric Walsh dinged. Grats. Oh, we got some trophies. We'll go back to town here. And probably call it an episode. There we go. Well. Sorab and Vincent are now drunk. Great. Great. You deserve it. But anyways, folks. Glad I played a little bit longer. That was fun. And uh, yeah, we got a little more done. So thanks for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time.